the long desert march drew the attention of many more desert dwellers in the region, most of them fearful of our numbers, weapons, allies, and our species. However, once curiosity overcame their initial fear, some of them approached us with no ill intentions. Malka Shah saw it fitting to take advantage of this situation. Welcome back everyone, we are on scenario 5b, Cursed Plateau. I'm pretty sure I've never played this scenario before. That is, I played it just now because this is the second attempt. Um, this scenario has some pretty brutal enemies in and it's important not to overextend yourself. So hopefully I'm going to learn some lessons this time and actually not do too badly. Um, but we will press ahead, having taken the decision to go across the Cursed Plateau rather than fight the bandits, we have to deal with consequences. The more magically adept travellers chose to apprentice under Malka Shah to learn necromancy or hone their craft. Things quickly reached a point where the leech's minions nearly outnumbered our own capable spellcasters. And yet... But Malka Shah was not the only one hiding something from me. Anlinde refused to tell me about the previous trials faced by Arkhine at the hands of the demons. Malka Shah would tell me to ask Anlinde whenever I attempted to inquire. I wondered if perhaps the Lady of Light and the Master of Darkness would be willing to give me answers. Ugh. I'm beginning to regret my choice. It gets colder and darker the further we proceed, and our people are nearly starving. It is far too late to turn back, young leader. Besides, we are mere hours away from the edge of the plateau, if I'm not mistaken. Hard to tell with this fog. Incidentally, are you absolutely certain there is nothing we can do about that, Anlinde? I would greatly prefer if our spellcasters saved their energies for fending off any hostile creatures we might come across. Well, I don't recognize that creature, but it sure sounded hostile to me. Shall we keep moving? I support the motion. Humans of the Sands, impressed with the power and might of the undead, have joined Malka Shah and have become his apprentices. From now on, you may recruit Dark Adepts. Alright, I will. Our objective is for Gallus, Anlinde, or Malka Shah to reach the northwest corner of the map. And... Yeah, um, it looks like that's the plan. So I'm going to start off recruiting relatively lightly. We will have to recruit troops and uh, not waste too much time about it. But in the meantime, I'm going to stick with the basics. I'm going to have a castle full of Dark Adepts and Ghosts initially. have a few Dark Adepts. And then the rest for now, I'm going to have four ghosts. And the last ghost is going to be one that is nearly at a level already. And that's it. Let us press on. Sir! Our scouts report human settlements ahead. Judging by their banners and equipment, they must be forces loyal to that so-called Chaos Empire. Alkeshar, you did not say at any point that we were walking straight into enemy territory. Huh? Indeed I did not. This region was completely uninhabited last time my minions surveyed it. And when exactly was that? hundred years ago, perhaps? It's hard to tell when you've dwelt underground for thousands of years in solitude. Why are you looking at me like that? Thus far, our evidence suggests it's but a border outpost manned by a skeleton crew. Personally, I doubt they will prove to be little more than a minor nuisance. If you say so, backtracking at this point might not be the wisest choice after all. Alright, certainly no backtracking. Let us move forward. So 
So we do see some enemies around, but uh, nothing too horrific at the moment. Some bats, and you're going to attack her, so yeah. You two can heal each other from the damage taken. You're quick, so I'm going to put you slightly ahead. And all you ghosts, just move up. And let's see what comes. Wow, Galas, wow. Okay, we've survived this initial onslaught. You can reach the bat. Have at, have at ye. Very nice. Now, Blood Bat, who's going to take you on? Ghosts or someone else? Adelante, you can have it. There are scorpions down here, but we can just ignore those. And I can tell you from my previous playthrough that uh, there's nothing interesting to the north or to the uh, to the west sorry to the east of here so we'll just progress and take things as they come very sensitive mouse I don't really want either of these scorpions particularly to come out of their holes. Alright, other than a bat suiciding itself onto Gallus, that is all we need to worry about for now. I can't undo that, can I? No. Oh well, you take the next best spot, and you march on ahead. And there's a scorpion, that scorpion will attack, so I'll have Sothenia on hand to do some healing. As for you two, keep moving forward. And you ghosts. Malkashar. Why are your bats and spirits being completely useless around these cliffs? We need to cover as much ground as possible, and you aren't precisely helping. Have you ever tried flying during a storm? Perhaps you should give that a try one day so that you learn to leave these things to me instead of spouting orders like a spoiled brat. Fair enough. I don't think that's fair enough, but... Uh... I guess if I'd been buried underground for a thousand years, I might have a bit of a temper on me as well. Okay, so I'm poisoned, but no long-term damage is done. And you... Can move in. No one else can quite reach, so yeah, you and Lindsay can move in to take out the scorpion. Oh, there's another scorpion up there. Well, I will position you to fly. Galas, you've uh, done a good job so far at taking out scorpions. How about giving it another shot? Oh, there we go, that scorpion can reach Malkashar now, that's that's also a reasonable outcome. Um, but I think I, I would rather that, um, that Galas take... Would I rather Galas? No, I need... Galas is going to need some health, so... You stay where you are, Galas. You go there. You follow up behind. And then you ghosts, I want you to investigate this intriguing little cave. 
which has a strange creature in it, a Psy Crawler, and these will be familiar to you if you played Under the Burning Sands. If not, spoilers, but sorry about that. Scorpions take so much damage from Arcane, it's not even funny. And I'm going to hopefully end things with the Dark Adept. Great. Alright, turning then to the cavern. Your first duty is to deal with this Psycrawler, who's not all that effective against ghosts. And you too. Can't quite kill it, but I can get pretty close. And just capture these houses, give myself some more gold income. As for the rest of you, advance. can we see? No one here so far. The elves from the dead at Sanctuary are intruding in our domain? Then what are you waiting for, fools? Get them! As you command, sir. What was that thing? Okay. These ghosts have survived the ordeal relatively well. I will now send them to explore. Touch paint triggered, a, rule, a wall moves. And we've got bats, we've got regular bats, and we've got a dread bat, which is a nasty, nasty creature. And I'm going to move everyone so that hopefully I don't take many, if any, casualties down here. I want to get them out into a position where this is the position um, right here at the end of the tunnel, because then the bats can only strike one at a time. Might be slow, but I think these ghosts are not in a rush, and they can easily catch up with the main force later. and you two get yourself a little bit more health. Every little counts when it comes to ghost's health. All right, so we've just got one headhunter up here. Malkashar can't quite get in there. Only Anlinde and uh, Galas can. And it's the first watch of the Long Dark. And there are more enemy units coming on ahead. We can see a headhunter, an invoker, Fair numbers of enemy units here, but most of them can't quite reach me. Oh, come on! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now my shine might get killed. Well, hopefully Malka Shah can gain us a bit of ground, and Galas can help out with that task as well because otherwise I'm not confident. Oh goodness, for that slow ability. Oof. All right, that 
Shide is looking really beaten up, so must make sure not to put it in any danger. Um, now the person who needs to take point here is Malka Sharp, because he is by far the tankiest of these guys. So he's going to come around here and unleash the Chilling Tempest. these folks. I think like this. Uh. And then Andy. Uh. Right now, Galas. Don't break my heart by getting yourself killed immediately. You go onto this castle and start happily recruiting the kind of units that are excellent against Chaos Warriors, such as skeletons. Galas now is going to get an unbelievable amount of, of damage directed at him, uh, so I just hope he can hold out. Meanwhile, I need to get rid of these bats. Now the good thing about fighting bats with ghosts is that the ghosts can't heal if we do this. So, Sorry, the bats can't heal by, by simply dealing damage is what I wanted to say. So you just go in with the whale attack. You can melee attack because you will go up a level by attacking. And become a wraith and able to regain health. And also tank a little bit more damage. It's never appropriate to refer to ghosts as tanks. I shouldn't do that. Okay, now let's see Galas take a bit of a beating here. Wow, Malkashar did not bring his A-game to that fight. Alright, starting off with the southern battlefields, you go and uh, gain some health back. You come in here and wail for no damage whatsoever, and I think you're going to wail as well, because every little counts. Okay, Malka Shah is looking quite hurt, so I don't really want to put him on the front lines now. There's a skeleton. He's quite he's not that far away from being from leveling up, but he does need to get a few more kills before that's a reasonable possibility, so. If I'm going to defend here, I'm going to need to do it a different way. Yeah, alright. You go over there. You come and attack this bowman. And that frees you up to come around here and attack this bat. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to recruit an archer here. And I'm going to have my death baron back because the death baron is going to have some handy leadership skills that are good for this situation where I'm trying to do a lot of stuff with level 1 units. Um, I could also bring Anne Linde up around here. Um, am I going to? Yes, worth it. So then, I actually don't want you to be standing there unless there are skirmishes around. Um, I want you to stand here, and I want you to stand there so you can get the maximum amount of useful healing in. This very slow <laughs> Dark Adept, who hasn't done anything so far, is going to come up at the back, and then I'm going to attack with my sword on this invoker, and he's going to try and punch me, and probably succeed. Yeah, there we go. Those guys always succeed. I'm not sure what they're flipping drinking. Magic Invoker Kool-Aid or something. Um, Alright, so now Gala still has to survive. fussed about killing skeletons, that's fine by me. Oh, the scorpion bites the dust. Ah, yes! Alright. Big bat is down. Okay, looks like I'm holding this pass for now, but I need to be careful about it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I want you... All you can do is come in and attack this raider with your bow, without leadership. But then you can come in, maybe even, if you're lucky, finish the job. You're not lucky and you're going to get yourself killed, but that's fine. Now over here I'm going to have another skeleton archer. And see we're doing pretty well financially here. Could be better, but um, could be a lot worse. Now I could recall someone powerful at this point to help out with a big fight. Um, and indeed I will. I could even recruit this, we call this Marshal. I think having a Marshal back here might be a real game changer, but they cost a lot, so hmm, not sure. I'm gonna go for Quosaw the Hero instead. Elves, you know, they don't care about the knight. They're not huge fans of the knight, but nor do they die immediately in the night, so it's all good. Alright, use that this invader. Okay, unfortunately, um, given that you are a Dark Adept and that you are quick, which means that you have less health, I don't expect you to survive the night, but um, stranger things have happened. Ghosts, right. Um, there are still bats down here. You try and get the kill. You succeed in getting the kill. Um, I can leave this, I think, to two of these ghosts. You are too powerful to be wasted down here. So you just come down here 
and wait, and then you head up to the north. Now the trick here is not going to be to beat all of the blue forces back, I definitely won't be able to achieve that. The trick is more to ensure that I can get past, and um, as we'll see, some rather nasty units start coming down from the north too. So I'm going to get a never-ending flow of units ban from the right-hand side over here, and some units coming down from the top too. Let's see what happens this turn. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I will round off these units here, and then I think it's time to take a break. So, how can I proceed? First of all, you will need to move. You try and get a crossbow shot off. Nope. Alright, you zap. Uh, that's also a nope. Okay, you are actually on pretty good... You're doing well, so I want to save you. I want to allow you to get a level. Which means that I'm going to pull you back. And then try and get you to come in and... Oh, you're not quite powerful enough. Oh, that's such a tragedy. Well, maybe you'll get two hits. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course you won't get two hits. You could go around and try and finish the job. Yeah. I'm not leaving bats lying around. Bats are well known, well known for their nastiness. <laughs> Keshar, as usual, blunt instrument. Quosor, the hero, just needs one hit to take this guy out. And there it is. Okay, he's pretty close now to another level. So I can move up. So Thinia, and everyone should be able to heal. And in fact, I'm not even sure that Gallus is going to recruit anyone this turn. He's just going to stay where he is, enjoy the peace and quiet, and get some health for himself. Ghosts, move up. As for you down here... I'm going to try and get the kill on this bat. Not quite. We are almost there. All right. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play another turn. Okay, with that, um, with a shadowy creature appearing out of nowhere and suiciding on Quosor, uh, with the bats defeating, the ghosts defeating their opposition in the bottom left, and with ghosts on their way to reinforce the front line, I think it's time for us to take our break. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with part two.